Hey everybody, it's episode 219 of the Audible Farm Podcast, and this episode is brought to you by the Fort Dodge Fine Arts Association. Go to www.fdfineartsassociation.org and check out everything they've got to offer. Hey, all right, so this episode is going to be a solo episode, and uh, I'm going to do the intro music like I always used to. I'm going to do everything probably the exact same I always used to. Maybe a little different, maybe not, I don't know. I didn't plan any of this. I'll talk about it later. Uh, Cue the music. It's the Audible Farm Podcast. With your host, Peter Stockdale. All right, everybody, Uh, here we go. Solo episode number one oh. Uh, this is crazy. So I didn't know what to do when I, I don't know. I didn't do the podcast for a while, and I didn't plan an exit strategy. And I apologize to everybody for just leaving them hanging, but that's kind of just how it went. I got tired of uh, doing it. I guess I don't know. I don't know the best way to describe exactly what happened, but that's what happened. So I didn't do the podcast anymore, and that was that. Um, since I haven't done the podcast, by the way, I can see the last episode I posted was December thirtieth, twenty twenty two. So that's almost two years ago. I haven't done a podcast in almost two years. And it's, it's kind of wild because I had like all this new stuff I bought to do a podcast and I just, it just been sitting in boxes. So I broke some of it out to try to record some stuff and, uh, I'm just goofing around with it. So, um, yeah, we're going to start doing the podcast again. I don't know exactly what capacity I'm going to do it in. Uh, I know I should have a schedule and I should kind of make this as official and nice as possible, just like I did last time. But I spent a lot of time doing that, and uh, unfortunately, that was kind of one of the reasons I decided not to do the podcast anymore. It it took a long time, took a lot of time out of my day, and it's not like I'm, (laughs) it's not like, I don't know, this is going to make it any less long uh, by doing it again, but I'm here again, and I'm doing it again, so this is what's happening, and uh, welcome back to the podcast. If you're brand new to the podcast, uh, this podcast started... Um, let me see way back in forever ago. Let me, I don't even know if I have an actual date, uh, 2018 somewhere, um, September 2018, somewhere in there. So yeah, I did a podcast for four years, put out an episode every week, uh, almost every single week. There was a few times I had to skip a week or two. Um, but yeah, 218 episodes I did over the course of just over, just barely over four years. So, uh, I usually didn't miss an, a week, but at the end it kind of got tougher to get guests to, to do podcasts and get them in to do things. And it, uh, took a lot of time out of my day to do the podcast and do what I felt was justice to the podcast. Cause I didn't want to just start phoning it in and have people not enjoy it as much as they used to. So I kind of just let it be where it was at and called it what it was. Um, but again, now I'm back and, uh, I didn't want this to be like a solo episode where I came back and was all disheartened by everything that was going on. Um, cause that's not the case. That's not, that's not why I came back here to talk, uh, the first episode back. Um, but I did feel like I owed everybody at least a little bit of an explanation as to what happened. And, uh, it's, I'm not making excuses or anything. It's just kind of, uh, took a toll after a while and I needed some free time and I got plenty of free time in the last couple of years and uh, I did a lot of fun stuff. So, um, I still played music and I still am playing music. I'm playing music with Jesse Wilson, uh, mostly, and that is going swimmingly. I still play a lot of shows with him every year. We just recently played up in Okaboji. Uh, that was kind of cool. Cause I don't think either one of us has really played too much up there. We've had a couple shows here and there up there, but we played up at captains. Uh, that's, you know, kind of a nice place that, uh, a lot of people go in at nighttime. There's almost always live music there. Like I think a hundred plus shows a year they have live music there. So that's pretty cool. It was neat to, to hop in on that show. But yeah, I'm still going out there playing music. A lot of things have changed in the last two, th- two years, but, uh, not really, I guess. Um, 
I mean, the Barnum Jam is no longer a thing. I think I'll talk about that in a later episode. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, what? There's no more Barnum Jam. You talked about that all the time. Well, that's true. There's uh, no Barnum Jam anymore. Uh, Again, we'll kind of wait till one of the later episodes to talk about that. Um, But yeah, we'll just tease it in there. Um, Yeah, I mean, there's like a handful of things. Like I do not play quite as many shows with Three Finger Betty at the moment because the guitarist is injured. Uh, He broke his hand, which is kind of a good excuse not to play music. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a cast on right now that is uh, like three fingers or at least he might he might have gotten it off but he had a cast on for a while that was three fingers placed one way and then a couple off the side or whatever and so he took a picture of it like three finger betty cast i don't know it was kind of funny so um yeah so i still do play shows with them but we're kind of mia at the moment due to an injury which is kind of a weird thing to think it's not like we're playing sports out there but you know life happens and that's you know something we talked about a lot in this podcast over the years. And I mean, over the years was the fact that, you know, things happen and things change. Um, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff on my plate that has changed. Um, I still, I still play music. Like I said, Jesse Wilson, three finger Betty. Uh, I pick up, you know, kind of gigs here and there with other bands very rarely, uh, kind of depends on who's playing and what they're playing. Um, I probably pick up a few too many gigs like that because it's uh, not always an easy task on my end to try to get acquainted with all of the music that I have to play. So um, I've done that before, but the Fort Dodge music scene is still just as as great and vibrant as ever. There's plenty of bands, plenty of stuff to do. There's a a jam at the second floor of the Eagles now um, once a month that, uh, just started back up. I was in the house band recently, which is kind of fun. Cause you go up there and you play if nobody else is going to play or whatever, but there's usually enough people where you just play, you know, you book in the show, maybe a little bit in the middle here, but, uh, otherwise, yeah, you just kind of book in the show a little bit, which is kind of fun. You know, um, you get to sit there and watch everybody and hang out and talk. And it's nice having jam nights like that to sit and talk at, you know, ever since the Barnum one's gone, it seems like we don't see a lot of musicians anymore. And, it's kind of funny because there's people in the area that have talked about like, let's just go to Barnum and do a jam anyways. Like everyone just bring an acoustic guitar and sit or like, we'll just go there and like everybody can just hang out and not even play music if we don't want to, you know, <laughs> just sit there at the bar and hang out. Uh, so it does sound kind of fun to maybe reignite something like that. So uh, I, I don't know exactly uh, what's going to happen with that. Um, that's just kind of was something that somebody had joked around and said, so don't start showing up thinking there's going to be live music there anytime soon, but you never know. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that I've had going on lately. It's not a whole lot. Um, I, not that my personal life has ever really come into here, but I like, I lost a, a job due to being laid off due to overstaffing because I worked for a big box company. Um, and by a big box company, I don't mean like a company that made big boxes or a company that was like housed inside of a big box, but it just kind of came off the heels of COVID and, uh, whether or not, uh, work was needed. So, uh, I ended up parlaying a lot of my skills that I had as hobbies into job again. So, uh, I got a job. I do podcasts, uh, for a company in Fort Dodge, Iowa that does marketing. So if you guys need any marketing, that would be the place to go. Uh, the podcast I host there is called the spin market report. We talk to businesses and interview people within those businesses about what they do and what makes them special and why they're doing it. And, uh, it's actually a really cool podcast. It's fun to sit and talk with people like that. It's kind of like what I wanted to do with this podcast at one point in time that I, this is too music oriented to really just branch out that far, but that gives me an kind of a way to talk to people in an official sense. And, you know, I'm a curious mind. I've, haven't spent my entire life in the business sector. So it's kind of fun to go out there and sit and talk with people about business, you know, especially in ways where it's like actual professionals and entrepreneurs and like city organizers and and people with, you know, those kind of jobs. And it's like, Oh, this is really cool. And you get to sit and talk with them about like why they're doing what they're doing and, and you know, what they're doing to help let everyone else know that what they're doing, you know, cause some people are doing things, uh, that would really benefit the community. So it's really kind of cool to sit and talk with some of those people over there about that. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of neat that I was able to parlay some of my hobbies on the side into something that I could utilize at a job. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like I just go over there and goof off and, and 
host a podcast and call it good, but like, cause I do other stuff there. Um, you know, my degree came into play as well. I have an accounting degree. So there's, there's a few things that, you know, have, have kind of all culminated into a fun job over there. So there's, there's that, I guess that's in the personal life, um, category, but yeah, it's really neat to be able to go out there and realize that the podcast did change my life. This podcast, Audible Farm, did change my life, you know, in that capacity. You know, it allowed me to do bigger and better things with my life. And I'm I'm thankful for that. You know, that gave me two years of reflection to think about that. You know, I w- it was nice going places and being able to know that people would know me. And if they didn't know me, they might have heard of me. And they, you know, it just made making acquaintances with people very easy. It was a nice icebreaker for sure. You know, and it got people talking pretty, pretty well. It was, you know, it's not always easy to go out and talk to people. And that's another thing was like not having the podcast. I appreciated being, I appreciated the anonymity. I appreciated being able to um, buzz outside on set breaks and not talk to people or just kind of like hide in the corner and not, not be pressured into, you know, being overly um, social with people. Not that I'm antisocial, but I have found that um, this is not a muscle that was just like, it's not like riding a bike. I mean, I came back to it and it's pretty simple um, just because I did it for so many years, but it's not exactly like riding a bike. So it's it's weird using new devices that I, I had bought and never took out of the box, uh, you know, using different stuff it's just it's weird you know um at where i work we have podcast stuff there and it's like professional professional level like ultra hd multi-camera with lighting um the craziest graphics all this good stuff like it's it's high end this is still very much a grassroots all on my own operation which is going to just be what it is um so if you liked what we were doing before, you're going to like more of it now. And by we, I mean, audible farm and by audible farm, I mean, uh, me, because again, it's a solo operation. Um, this is, this wasn't super easy to, to start back up. And I'm finding out that it's like, again, it's not a muscle that I just retained super well. I have to sit down and like actually sit and think about what I'm doing and really calculate it out where before it was like riding a bike every single week. But, um, I kind of tried to knock some of the rust off by sitting down with some people that I've talked to already. And I tried to get as many episodes pre-recorded as I could to kind of get ahead. Um, cause that was another thing that stressed me out was always getting behind. So I was able to knock a little bit of the rust off talking with some other people. So, um, I appreciate, you know, those people, they'll be coming up in upcoming episodes for sure. So be sure to check those out, subscribe, like, share the whole nine yards. Um, yeah, that's, pretty much all i have to say um i'm gonna do the whole outro thing just like everybody loves so um cue the outro music all right there you go that is the end of it this is episode 219 done in the bank i think that's what i used to say boom there it is it's in the bank um but yeah the episode's over with and uh i want to say thank you to the guest it was me Uh, no Thank you to uh, probably Scott Kirkhart for starting that hashtag audible, bring back audible farm, hashtag bring back audible farm. So yeah, check that out. Um, Use the hashtag if you want to. Uh, I guess we're back, everybody. Uh, Audible farms back. So you know what that means. You know the drill. www.audiblefarm.com. Check it out. The website's there. It might look a little different, uh, but it's still there. And uh, you can also go to YouTube and check out the Audible Farm channel on YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash at Audible Farm. That will take you there, I believe. Let me double check. YouTube Farm. Boom. There it is. So go to Audible Farm at Audible Farm on YouTube. Uh, Make sure you click subscribe so we can get that subscriber number up there otherwise wherever you're listening hit subscribe uh like review interact with us on social media let us know uh whether or not you're excited that we're back uh so that's it for the episode um yeah check out the social medias check out youtube website that's basically all i got it's all still the same stuff it just sat there uh the patreon channel exists it's still there um 
check it out if you want to you'll find it it's on all the links audiblefarm.com um what is the other one? Oh, there's a shop there's still a shop out there it still exists it's just been sitting there uh i have been monitoring it to make sure nobody's been buying anything um but it just sat there so uh there's a shop whatever check it out if you want to um thanks everybody for listening uh bye